What up, YouTube? I am. It's rolling. Yes. Oh, I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm I am sorry. Sean Narona, and I film weddings. This is an unboxing video because I bought something that is very exciting. Yeah. And. <laughs> It's a bad decision to include all of us. <laughs> there is a drone inside this box. But which drone did I decide to buy? Yeah. Just promise that this is the take that you'll use. This is the take I'm going to use. I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. This yeah. is real. This is real time. This is stuff that's happening. Editing is hey, nice. YouTube. Right. Okay, so. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about it for a minute. Um, I'm really excited about this because, like, this is something that I've always kind of wanted, but I didn't know that I was actually going to have something like this. And, uh... I'm glad you finally got one. You know, a few years ago, I was just like, drones, what the hell, what the heck is that, you know? I don't know, they were scary. We were just like, okay, there's robots flying in the sky. What do you, what do you think about drones? Uh, you were talking earlier about... Uh, <laughs> I think it's a really useful thing. It's kind of weird that the name... I don't know why they've called these filming, uh, quadrocopters... Uh, Drones because I don't think they are. What? I think it's what are they called? a quadrocopter or quadcopter. 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 Doctor Quadcopter. I just don't know why they called it a drone. It doesn't really make sense, and it's kind of lumped together these mil like a military weapon and a tool. But I do agree with you that like the name drone. It makes it sound like some kind of weird military robot which, uh, which that's like spying on Which I think is a misnomer and I don't think it's an appropriate name. Funny I used to like fly like RC planes and like funny. RC helicopters mm -hmm. and I, it was surprising that I wasn't really interested in these. But now I'm actually getting more interested in these and I'm so glad you have one. And I'm excited to unbox this today. This is a tonight. crazy, crazy piece of equipment. Also, Tanner is going to become our drone pilot. For I feel like it's a, and commercial work. I feel like it's a new niche job that is developing, and like if you're really good with drones, like you could get gigs anywhere. Yeah, yeah, because it's like this is gonna give us an edge that like not everybody can offer. How, do you want we your can... wedding filmed, but from above with a drone? My mom right. actually marked you based on the drone because she said, "Imagine going into a wedding and seeing a flower girl from an aerial view dancing." And seeing her dance in the wind. Yep. And like you can't get that with a regular shot, but you could get it overhead and it's it makes a film into a movie. Or like a three sixty overview of the altar and then mm -hmm. like all the mm -hmm. ring oh, excuse me, all the uh, like the whole wedding party and shit. Uh, and stuff. It's funny <laughs> that's okay. It's it's funny that she mentions the flower girl and having like a perfect dancing shot. <clears throat> Rarely do I ever see flower gr flower girls know what they're actually doing. That's real. The last wedding I went to, the flower girl didn't even know she was supposed to go down the aisle, and she went around <laughs> the crowd. Alexis? <laughs> no, no, no. Because uh, she didn't know what she's doing either. <laughs> actually, uh, the oh. <laughs> the cup the last couple was like it was a wedding uh, call. Uh, the couple's name was Malia and Anthony, okay. and they were getting married in Asheville, and. It was like a last minute thing. Uh, like out of nowhere, my friend Alan, who's a photographer, texted me and said, hey, I've got this guy asking about wedding videography. His videographer just like dipped out on him at the last minute and they're getting married this Saturday. Are you available? And he was like, you know, I, I gave him your contact information so he might contact you. So I talked to the guy on the phone, the groom, and I was able to book it at the last minute. And that's actually what got me to decide, hey, I'm going to put this money towards this investment Absolutely. for the drone. So, like, that was just, like, a freak accident that happened because I've been thinking about a drone. But I was like, no, nah, it's probably going to happen within the next year or so. But, like, that one little moment, I was like, you know what? This is it. So, thank you, Anthony and Malia, for this wonderful gift. And your wedding video is coming soon. It's going to be amazing. It won't have a drone in it, but... You should. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so... You should get remarried just so you can do the drone. I yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny. Are you guys ready to, like, see what's inside of this thing? What Sean, if it's not the drone? why did you choose this drone? What did you hear about it? What is the reason? Well, let's Why open should it? the YouTubers choose this? Why do you okay. have a copy of it? We're going to get to that, okay. but they have to find out what I... Once we open it, they'll find out which drone it is. Okay. Because I haven't said... 
Like, even the title of this doesn't say which drone it is. Okay. So it's like, what drone did I buy for wedding videography? What makes sense, right? Yeah, okay. So are you ready to find out? Sure, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, here it goes. It's cardboard. It's cardboard. Okay. Yeah, okay. Dude, it's on the bubble, right? Okay. This is like right up against me. Okay. Oh, that was a big serious. Okay, thank you. Okay, pick this up. Okay, <laughs> so this is the DJI Mavic Pro. Was that in shipping at the end? That must be. There is a crack in the box currently. Ooh. There's a crack in the box. <laughs> <laughs> what? There's crack in the box? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's a pro. <laughs> 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 okay, so I hope that doesn't affect anything, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we will see. I hope. I mean, I hope it's that's probably just... well packaged. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> and then it broke. So he doesn't know. Okay. Oh. oh so wow, here we go. that thing is tiny. It's oh, tiny, guys. Oh, look, look. Oh. <laughs> okay, open. hold it open so we can show the camera. All right, so it's in this this little casing. It's the little that's a Mavic baby. Pro. Which, a little cute robot. Yeah. But see, you know, uh, this wow. is one of the reasons why I got this thing is that it's compact and it can fit in a little backpack. That's perfect. Isn't that awesome? So, you know, if somebody, you know, gets on my on my Nerves. back about like, hey, we saw a drone, I, I could like stick this in my backpack and be like, What are you talking about? Yeah. What, what drone? Yeah. <laughs> but I will well. do, I will do it legally and we will, we will be certified. Right. We will, we will be... Don't you have to talk to the FAA or whatever? I have to register this with the FAA. Wow. So I'm going to look into how to do that. Um, but I will definitely be out there practicing very far away from airports. Because guess what? If I did it here, the police and the FAA would be on me because we live like five minutes from the airport. I didn't realize that. I yeah. Know. They would literally just come here and be like... You're in Do they think you're going to fly into a plane? I'm like, not sure. Would they pull you into a black okay. plane? So are they going to pull it over? What are they going to do? Let me show you why it's a quadcopter. Okay. What if you outflew them? So, would it be a oh, aerial pursuit? Mm. It's like, a, like one of those flying hunter-killer machines from okay. the Terminator. So, when it flashes forward. It's got it. four sorry. little... Arms or legs, what do you call them? This is so cool. And and, and each of them, well, these have propellers. And I'm sure there are other propellers in here. Yeah, should be. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's a, that's a cord. That's a little USB cord. Um, and then we have a power cord for something. Um, what's that? Another cord. Yep. It's another Thing. little mini USB cord. Hmm. Okay. Or like USB 3 or something like that. It looks like my cell phone one. Oh, Do you want to hold it? Yeah, you can hold it. You guys can look at it if you want. Yeah. This is, it comes with the re remote control, and which has a screen on it. That's awesome. Uh-huh. And, you know, I guess this, you know, ant antennas come out. What's the range? Do you know? No, I not don't. Off the top of your... We will not off the top of your... Oh, Jesus. I'll hold this for you. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's really satisfying is pulling the stickers off of new electronics. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I yeah. it definitely is. <clears throat> it's fresh. Okay, so I guess there's a... Manual. Manual. Unless the, the, the paper that the sticker is printed on is weaker than the actual adhesive, and it just leaves a layer. You can't get it off unless you... There are a few booklets here. I'm talking about the film, like the film on the new screen. It's just like, mm. really yes. yeah. Yeah. Well, it's just Excuse annoying me. when, like, like this thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Okay. It's so, weird when people leave that stuff on. Okay. <laughs> it's mildly. So endearing. it also came with. Also, this is a little bent, but it's crunched up. It man. came with an SD card with 128 gigabytes, Ooh, which perfect. I ordered with it. Um. It's an SDXC card so that it can shoot 4K. Oh, that's um, perfect. And that's another reason why I got this drone is because it shoots all the way up to 30 frames a second at 4K. And it has different camera profiles, including D-Log, so that I can get the most dynamic range out of this thing and the most cinematic shots. 
Yeah, you, wanna, you guys want to touch it? <laughs> yeah, I want to touch it. <laughs> uh, what else? Okay. So there were no more propellers in there? Hold on. There, there are the propellers, be. yeah. What's in here? Hold on, there's another box. Was this, you open this in there? Okay. It really these, does look like something that Captain America would These are ND out. filters but that I bought for it. But a smaller version. With D-Log. Oh, it oh, actually oh I don't want to, no, has, no 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 it's too too expensive it has an it. ISO of like 800 so if it's cranked up that much you definitely need ND filters to kind of knock down the light so you don't have like overexposed shots you know like they're too bright you know these are basically like uh, they go on the front of the camera here oh okay okay and they're like little circles Ooh. so they fit and they're basically like sunglasses for the lens oh that's cool you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we also have a an extra battery. Hell it. So that sure. that way, because this is supposed to last like thirty minutes in oh, the sky. That's crazy. Thirty minutes. And that's then, really cool. And then, <coughs> well, I mean, that's <coughs> it. I it's know. Relatively. Cord. Yeah. It's what. Boca cord. Mm -hmm. And that's why you have to have <laughs> an extra battery. <laughs> so you're not gonna be in the air for like an hour or anything. <laughs> not unless you're filming Blair Witch too. So you gotta pick your moments. It right? also has very uh, like special features, like uh, it has like uh, object awareness, so it doesn't crash into things. But it wow. only has like only for sensors in the front. So like if it's going towards something, it'll it'll know if there's objects in the way, and it'll actually stop before it crashes. Total solar eclipse. Which are, should we go to that? Really? Oh, yeah. I took off work. For yes. Really? What what day is it again? Twenty first. Twenty first. Yeah. Where should we watch this Monday? You have to be in the mountains. We have to drive four this hours Monday? to the mountains. No, August twenty first. No. Right. Also, okay. I also heard Charleston, South Carolina, Rem is a hot spot. For Remind me. Okay. Remind me. Okay. Because I'll take off. What is this? Okay. I don't even remember this. <gasps> it's a bag. Oh, oh perfect. I have seventy-two hours of mm -hmm. time off saved up. What is that? That's perfect. You could tell. Oh, that would be cool. Or... The eclipse. Oh, dude. Okay. Imagine filming like, the eclipse with the drone. What would that look like? <coughs> would it actually it, be able to It wouldn't work very well. Yeah, no, I think that would be just do what we should do. What if that melted? We would need a very... We would need a telephoto lens. You could get the people watching the eclipse. That's true. Okay, yeah, so this watching. is the Mavic Pro's little uh, carrying case. We could wear some. And... That is something I'm very excited about so that I can keep it safe, but also it's not going to take up a lot of space because the whole drone cool. fits in there. Yeah. Oh, wow. You want to see? Okay. Let's see. Okay. So let's fold up the drone. This is neat. So look, there's a little camera and then there's a little record button. So I guess you could take pictures separate from actually recording. You can. Oh. That's awesome. So in that regard, what will be the difference between taking pictures while filming and then just taking the footage you filmed and taking the screenshots of that. Yeah. What would be the difference between those two? Resolution. Okay. Because uh, pictures are actually higher yeah. quality than video is. Right. Because they're made of more sense. pixels. <clears throat> That's um, why they're megapixels instead of just like pixels. Did you find the other little blue peppers I mean? Not yet. I wonder if it came Charles with this. I hope it did. Uh, Okay, mm. but so like this thing's folded up, right? I mm. could go to Charleston that day. For real, for real. Hotels. Columbia over there. is also a really good sighting cool. place. So guys, it fits in the little bag. All right. And that will fit on my back. That's, that's a, a freaking drone. That's you know, awesome. Bag. All right. So any. Uh, Does this fit in there too? So we're gonna explain yeah. why you chose it, or we have we done that? Oh, uh, I've cho uh, I mean I've explained a little. Let's let's go over that again. Nicole, do you see the other, other propellers? Yeah, look for the propellers, and then we'll talk about yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so guys, we've been looking through the box, <laughs> and we finally found the extra propellers for the uh, the other two arms. However, it also came with two extra sets of propellers, which is very handy. Just in case, I don't know, this crashes and breaks or something. I don't know. It was yeah, I mean, these are pretty classic. Ooh, can it whip your finger off or snap? Probably. Ooh. I didn't buy the uh, the <sighs> propeller guards, which you can. Oh. But they make it bigger. Oh. And also, I wouldn't really fly this around people specifically. <clears throat> well, you can do it that way. Yeah, but it's mostly for like Wait, location shots. Oh, okay. Yeah, awesome. You were gonna ask me about. Yeah. My. Church. Where's the Where's the drone? <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you put it in the backpack? Oh yeah, it's in the backpack. <laughs> it's, it's right here. See? Okay. It's, it's safe. Because I feel like somebody just went, ooh, because I dropped the box over there, but I was like, wait, the drone wasn't even in there. Where was the drone? Aww. It has a lot of professional features. It can shoot 4K video. It's got picture profiles so that I can choose whether I want like a baked in image or if I want to shoot kind of like cinematically uh, like a log style, which is like a flat picture so that I can like color grade it in post and make it look what, like whatever I want to. And it also has, you know, those professional features like object awareness and it actually has like return to home. So like if I tell it to do that, it'll, it'll like find my remote and come back to me and land. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So like, honestly, it's, it's funny. Like you would think like you, you need to like learn harder how to like, <laughs> you would think, you would think you need to like learn more in depth, like be a really good drone pilot to fly professional drones, you know? But like, it's actually more, <laughs> it's actually more difficult to fly cheap amateur drones because they don't have as many professional features right. and they're actually not as fluid and they don't have as many, you know, like, you know. You have two copies of Carlitos. Well, would you, you say both happen to have your own copy? each person should do their research, Carlitos make sure it suits them. This particularly suits you because it does everything you need. It, it to. does everything I need, but the other thing is it's also low profile. It's small. <coughs> it doesn't make as much noise. It won't attract as much attention, and it's very maneuverable. And I can take it with me wherever I want to go instead of just being like carrying. Like if I got the Phantom Four. Which is like one of those are the huge. Ones. Those are ridiculous. It, it's like it doesn't seem like it's that much, but it, it they say it's like four times the size of this. So it'll because it doesn't actually fold its arms down like that. So it it's always this big, and because of that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, because of that, you have to put it in a very large case, <laughs> like a large, like hard case. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. And <laughs> they're called pelican cases. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that was the That's what she said. That I know, I'm serious. Okay. Birds Basically, why would I want to lug around all that luggage when I could just grab this bag and go? Is that where the word love came perfect. from? And fly wherever I want to. Perfect. You know what I mean? For you. So for me, it's about one, it shoots 4K. That's important to me. Mm -hmm. Because all of my other cameras shoot 4K. And I like having that option. I could have gotten the Spark, which is actually smaller than this, believe it or not. But Same battery life? No less. It would be less. <clears throat> so that's another drawback. So this has better battery life than the Spark does. Mm -hmm. um, the Spark does not shoot 4K. And it doesn't have picture profiles like this one does. Also, uh, and it doesn't have manual settings. The, the thing about this, just like the rest of my cameras, is I can control, you know, like the shutter speed, the ISO, the aperture, all that stuff. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can control whatever I want. And this one, I'm allowed to do that. But if I had the Spark, it would be like all automatic settings. Whatever the camera wanted to do, it would do for itself. Does okay. it come in a hard case too? It, it just depends on, <laughs> on like which case you buy. But this I, is impossible. I want it to have... A bag. So it's versatile. I think that's You mean a sack? I mean, the other one's still, like, you know, I've heard that it's fun to fly. I've heard that it's very maneuverable. You've heard that it's fun. This one d is also very that maneuverable, very but stretch. it's, like, professional at the same time. So for me, I think this yeah. is exactly what I need. Thank you guys for tuning in to this unboxing video. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, please check out my channel. I've got other videos coming up. I've got weddings that I've just shot that are going to be uploaded very soon. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more cool stuff. And remember, it's not about the camera you have. It's about you and what you can do with it. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>